Hello there everyone and welcome back to Modded Minecraft. I am back. We are back with Sneaky and Kate. Hello. Yay. And we have... Well, okay. Our reactor is misbehaving. So we down added a new mod to hopefully solve it, right? Yeah. Um, apparently there was an issue with when big reactors unloads, it consumes copious quantities of fuel to absolutely zero effect. And so to stop this, we had to chunk load it, uh, which means we actually needed to bring a chunk loader mod on to do that because this is kind of a server stability issue, not simply a gamer convenience issue. Exactly, exactly. So with that having been done, we decided we'll just chunk, we'll just use the chunk loaders on the three sites. And now we're gonna build our quantum link portal, which I am gonna start putting together right now. So we need two quantum link chambers, correct? Um, yes, we will need two full quantum link chambers and the housing and everything else, because yeah. you're going to need one on either side. Yeah, I've already got the materials prepared uh, in part. Whoa. Sorry. All right, Kate's just trying to kill me. It's OK. <laughs> no, I, it's the sword. Every once in a while, it shoots a ray of danger. Ah, and I see. You were in my sight line, and I went to grab something with it, and it hit you instead. Not a ray of sunshine? Nope. So the, um, it's going to be, it's, it's a, a, the, the, uh, we need eight, yeah, we need eight of the rings, don't we, to make a circle. So we need 16 total. That is... Yes, we yeah. will need eight of the, well, we will need the one ch link chamber and then the eight quantum rings to be able to do that each. So, yes, yeah. it'll be 16 rings and the two chambers themselves. Yep, yeah, I'm just making the cable we need to finish the job. I have, I, as I say, I pretty much had the hardest to make stuff prepared ahead of time for this. Excellent. And by the way, apparently the um, once Whoa. the once the singularity is achieved and made mm -hmm. it and has achieved connection, it only needs to be powered from one side, not both. Really, useful. Okay, we're gonna have to let it work for a bit. It's got a few um, re products it's got to make. There weren't quite enough uh, of the uh, processors there. So let's make the singularity. I made some tiny TNT to help with because apparently that's the way to do it if you don't want to destroy a whole bunch of crap <laughs> what we don't want to blow up stuff with our singularity well you well, can I... always go to a safer location and use regular TNT yeah. if you so choose but the tiny yeah. TNT is probably going to be better for the real estate yeah so it just has to be right next to it right you know, I would dig at least a one by one pit and toss it in, and then toss in the tiny TNT as well. All right, that works too. I'm getting that images of pulling a Sam Carter by destroying by a sun pit. with a black hole <laughs> and yes. washing away the rain. Okay, fire in the hole. Pop. <laughs> Did that work? No, it's still a singularity. Okay, that's weird. Were there sp are we supposed to do this with two of them, or is it just one? It should be just one. Where are you? Just down in the bottom floor of the elevator. I'm gonna have to get some more TNT anyways. I only made one. So, heck with it. We're gonna use TNT. Regular TNT didn't do it, or Tiny didn't do it, so we're gonna use regular. Boom, 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 boom. So, bum, bum, bum. TNT, singularity, ready? Running. But to your knowledge, that's all we need, right? Yeah, it's still be it. a singularity. It is not quantum link. That's weird. All right. When in doubt, check the manual. 
Instructions. What? Yeah. Enderdust. Singularity and Enderdust. There's our problem. Ah. That would make sense. Ender dust. Okay. I have a piece of melon and I have no idea where it came from. Alright, I just need to grind up a pearl. Powdered ender pearl. You have a what that you don't know where it came from? A piece of melon. Um, I know melons are on farm now. I, I, it just kind of appeared in my inventory when I was making runes. I have no idea why. Right. It is used in the crafting of runes. It's used in the crafting and of runes. I'm being shot at. I'm being shot Oops. at with a palsma rifle. All right, that didn't do it. Ow. Okay. Pearl powder. No, come on. Ender dust. Grindstone, pulverizer, sagma. Oh, we'll try the sagma. Pulverizer wasn't working. Oh, there we go. Sagma, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dust. Ender dust. Now we should be able to do it. Ender dust. Singularity. TNT. Fire in the hole. That's more like it. Quantum entangled singularities. Yeah, thanks for saying fire in the hole and then putting it in while I was still right above it. <laughs> what? Wasn't that enough time? No. Oh, I apologize. I didn't even realize there wasn't above it. I didn't even think to look up, to be honest. Yeah, we had zombies jump, drop down on us, so... Oh. Wow, you very quietly panicked about that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't so much a panic as, oh, look, something to do. <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of this quantum ring. Should be everything we need. One, two, three, four, and five. Sixteen quantum rings, two link chambers, and two singularities. Excellent. I think we're good to go. Awesome. So I'm going to put it down here in the basement. Um, near to the uh, main output of the... Uh... Oh, so we're going to need some... We're going to need a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. If you would mind uh, grabbing one. We're going to need a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel for what? Uh, because we're because I'm bringing over the tunnel the tunnel line not the uh, not a single line. Ah, now then. Um, by the way, mm -hmm. you remember that one pit that had all of those zombies? Yeah. Yeah. It again. Oh, did it full again? Huh. That's got to be the uh, zombie uh, overhaul insanity going on there. All right, where am I going to put this? I'm going to put it somewhere where I can at least see it. So, oh, perfect, right here. Okay, so it's downstairs. It's going to be visible in our applied energistics area. There it is. Now I just need to power it and get the cable into it. Does it power from the cable that goes into it, or is it independently powered? I believe it is independently... Well, it is powered but from the cable that comes into it, I believe. Okay. So, what exactly are we building here? This is a quantum... Uh, will be a quantum link to bring our applied energy system from here to the village. Ah, cool. All right. Let's just get a. I'm gonna need. What, what is it called? A uh, fiber. I just need to make sure that it's actually powered. 
So I'm just going to uh, make sure a power line goes to the outside of the ring. Just for the sake of being thorough. There we go. Okay. Oh, yep. That's it. Yeah, it does need a separate power line. Oh, uh, that looks pretty sweet. So it is front and center when you come down to the basement now. Okay. Food on my bar. Warp book on my bar. I'm coming to the village. You've got a spot set up for this thing? Um, I've got an AE system set up. We can find a place for it. It's going to be down here. Okay. We just need to... It doesn't have a... Um... Okay, so no... Uh... No controllers. It just no has controller. an energy okay, acceptor. Good. All right. Do we? Did you bring a bring a tunnel, or grab a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel? No, I did not. Unfortunately, I oh, was okay. I was I Whoops. was trying to torch a polting. Okay. It's okay. I'll pop back and get one in just a second. I'll just get this thing. I'm still here. What do you need? Um, I need you to go onto the AE system and get one P2P tunnel, and that's the number okay. two. P two P no P two P tunnel. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to craft one. Okay, and one then that goes there. That goes there. Dirt. Okay, I have one. Whoops. Linking right. book to village, right? right? Yep, that's right. Uh, desert, yes. Yay, look at here I am. And hungry. Yep, don't starve. <laughs> I'm not gonna starve. Just throw it over here. <laughs> uh, just a second, let me eat before I die. Okay. Alright, you do that. Uh, P2P tunnel, there you go. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, so we just need a power cable here. Because it does have to, I did determine it does have to be powered like that. Oop. Oh, right, it won't power off of the... All right, we'll power it upwards. I might have to power it independently. I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see soon enough. We will. That's okay. There will be a power supply. There's a power supply here, right? Yes, you, the red you, line. I meant, uh, oh yeah, there's the power converter. Just need the uh, local power converter to bring a little bit of juice over to this system. No problem, can do. And actually, it shouldn't matter, The um, now that I think about it, the power converter can just carry the, it can be part of the same network, can't it? I believe so. Okay, well I'm just going to bring over, hold on. I'll just have to use this. I'll use this this conduit for now, and then once we're up and running on the same network. Oh, um, there's kind of an issue there. You're you're gonna mm -hmm. need a a thing to stop that from connecting. Hmm. Why yeah, would we want? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. right here, you don't want it to connect to that Fluix dot cable right there. That's where we're we're toggling to be able to turn on and off the the uh, ah. energy chargers. Okay, I'll just take it off the top then, because um, I have a very useful uh, item I brought with me. There is a random floating sword and an arrow in that corner. Ender I.O. cable. Yeah, they just let them despawn, I guess. All right, there we go. Okay. Whoops. All right. Um... So now I need to have a tunnel here. Beware of Spleef. <laughs> oh, you're, gonna, you're playing Spleef, are you? Well, I'm, I'm digging out the tunnel to be able to run a line to our other set of barrels so that you can oh, access crap, them more rapidly. I didn't bring a programmer. All right, I'm going to have to run back to the home base and get a, get a, get a programmed line for this peer-to-peer uh, -peer tunnel. Details, details, right? Yeah, I mean, really. Yeah, it's always something. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Thank goodness for chunk loading, though. This this just came up really fast. Considering there's nobody over here, it does yeah. make a difference. And not only that, it should actually reduce the CPU cycles. That's actually inter that's kind of funny. Okay, so I'm gonna need a sign as well. I'm just gonna call this one uh, Village Base One. On the uh, labeling scheme I've got down in the re in the uh, inventory. Yep, and now it looks like there actually is a surplus of biofuel being generated to power all three biofuel generators back at base. So, if nothing else, that will be enough to keep the AE system up indefinitely, even if the reactor goes down. Cool. All right. Is so this stuff auto harvesting? Yes, it is. If you'll awesome. notice over here, there's another harvester. Mm, right. Very Loads. nice. So, it's, yeah, right click to load. And then shift right click to apply. Right. And these over here are not auto harvesting, but if you will notice, these are the mystical flowers and the regular flowers. And so they, mm -hmm. they, this is all of the colors of the wind for you to paint with or will be eventually. Very lovely. Yeah, I've got a couple of um, botania flowers and I have gardens of random mystical flowers growing very quickly. So I'm probably set for that, but it's nice to have the. Yeah, because this Back is up. basically arbitrary amount. This is this is auto harvestable uh, petals yeah. and so dyes. We'll this way. Yeah. Yeah. No, the the uh, ones from the flower, um, they they pop up Cyber. in a I think it's four by four around the flower, and they pretty much like as fast as I can harvest them, they pop back up again. It's random, but in sufficient quantity to not be a problem. <laughs> that works too. Mm-hmm. But I had to I had to do a couple of those anyways for my own purposes, and so yeah. I was like, eh, why not? Yeah, hey. All right. Well, and the, and the other flowers are good, too. Just working out the details of how this is going to be interfaced here. All right, I got it. I got it. Okay. Also, there's a barrel with 54 stacks of wheat in here in addition to the barrel of 64 stacks of wheat that <laughs> yes. I don't know what to do with. Because the problem was, I was trying to set up the uh, biofuel bioreactor with nine different types of seeds, and mm -hmm. I forgot that wheat produces wheat instead of seeds, and it doesn't like wheat. It wants wheat seeds, which means I would have needed to have done a conversion, and yeah. that just seemed like too much effort to be bothered with. So I just picked nine <laughs> things that it considers itself to be its own seed. No, that's good. So in the meantime, all the bread. All the bread, all of the breeding, all of the everything. <laughs> yep. All right, that should do it. Okay, so if I've done this correctly, all I need is one more cable right here. And we should have access to the life, the universe, and everything here. English is such a stupid language. So I'm looking at this item, and I'm is it says lead. I'm like lead. That does not look like lead. It looks like a string. It's actually the word lead. But it's English, and English is stupid. That is because right. English does not borrow from other languages. It follows them down dark alleys, clubs them upside the back of the head, and rummages through their pockets for loose grammar. I saw that T-shirt. It was pretty funny. I almost got it. <laughs> but it's very true all right why did this go weird on me and then it just reuses its own crap if it needs something it's dumb okay what i need to do is i need to borrow this terminal here from our local network and hook it up here to see if this is actually connected to our home network oh of course it's not i didn't put the no i did put the singularity in okay it's powered <laughs> Uh-oh. So I have a problem. And what kind of problem would that be? The kind of problem where I forgot to put my book, in, my page for the base in my book. Uh, do I have it on me? That's the question. If or not, take. I have a page that I can then copy and provide to you. That would be nice. Okay. How do I access my backpack? I haven't done that in a while. Uh, I don't know which key you would have set it to. Ah, there it is. Um, 
right. Okay, I, I have a blank and... page. But I do not have... Okay. So I'm going to need a page <laughs> to get back to the house. Okay, come uh... on over. All right, I'm going back to castle. Where I need some more materials here. There's I am in the barrel room. Okay, just a minute. There's a zombie. Okay, well, trying to eat my face. Is it on your lawn? It was. Okay, I'm fiber. in the barrel room. Whoa. Here you go. I will want Thanks that back you. once you get done copying it. All right. Okay. Quartz fiber. Uh, do do do. How do Oops. I copy it? Craft it with itself in a blank. No wait. Okay. Can do. Get a couple terminals. You. And... There. You. Where's my blank pages? All right, and we need yellow. Oh come on. Our last yellow die. I have blank pages if you need them. I have them. I just they're in my backpack, and the button that I thought I had pushed to access my backpack is not working anymore. Okay. So I'm just making stuff up. So I'm just trying to prevent here, cross have contamination a... here. Yeah, <laughs> not of, a problem. Uh... Here you go, Kate. Have an Ender Pearl and a page that you can use to make one. Thank you. All right. So that should be that. I forgot to reset this, of course. But now this should not connect. Okay. Uh, have your page back. It's over there. All right. So now remember to shift and right click your book to open your book so you can put your page in your book so you may then access that page. All right. Yes. So that is Thank not you. Powered. No, it does want Yay. local power, correct? It will yeah. need local power to engage. Once it has engaged, it will not require any further local power. Okay, so in theory, it's on. It shouldn't need more power then. So the issue then is with my... Um... I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, issue is with the interface here. So I think it's an issue with the... Uh settings I loaded on the uh, tunnel. Well, it looks like it is gearing the tunnel up. It, it, it is charging now. Oh, is it charging? Oh, it's not It's not active right away? No, it has to charge mm -hmm. first. It, it, each one of the quantum rings has a certain energy buffer that it has to fill up before it goes active. Oh, and we can't see what that buffer is? Yeah, but you'll notice in the middle, you'll see you kind of got the particle effect of sucking things in. Oh, yes, because it's a singularity. Yes. So when that is done, this thing will connect. Okay, now where is the power coming from? Right now, it's coming through the uh, network. I'm just going to connect it up to your little AE thing, back up to the AE network here. I just wasn't sure what was going on. I was just doing some work to make sure there wasn't any cross-contamination of signals. Right, and I think you can actually run the power directly. You don't need to run it on the conduit, but I suppose that works too. The conduit's already there. There we go. So that's now hooked up. Oh, interesting. It thinks there's more. Oh, is the uh, energy acceptor act as a part of the network? Yes, it does. Okay, so they're so they're talking to each other. So it's connected the drive here through that. Good. Okay. The local drive is now connected. Okay, let's just get that terminal back in a useful place here. Mm. Right, right. It won't connect to the. Won't connect to those. It will connect to this though. Hey, do we have kicking around here somewhere a uh, at the castle a auto furnace? Something. Auto furnace. We have l like a um, like something I can throw stuff in and walk away until it's all done cooking. When I have yeah. more than one stack. In the uh, smelting area, mm -hmm. where all those machines are, there's there's quite a few furnaces. In fact, the one there's the the, the device. If you're standing at the ter facing the ter the main terminal. Uh -huh. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, to your to your left, um, there's a green box. That's that's a uh, a smelter. Energized smelter. There it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need 
Sneaky, you're going to want this, I think, because this is this area is your project. You'll need that, you'll need that, and you'll want this too. Now, the stuff that goes in here, is that going to the... Um, it goes straight into, into the network. The system? Okay. Yeah, it goes into the network. So, Schneeky, what I've given you here to start is this 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 conduit. I know the it's yellow. It's all yellow because that's the only color I had access to at the moment. But this uh, this block right down here, this lowest spot, is a 32-channel um, network ready to roll. So it's a awesome. full... Other than the three that are used by the devices already here, it's a completely unused 32 uh, uh, item network for you to pull around here and do with as you see fit. Can I put more than one stack in here? Um, no, it, it does cap at one stack. I don't think I okay, made it well, into that's... a fa it's not a factory okay. yet. But okay. there are other there are other smelters around. Okay. So we're just waiting for that to turn online now. Then. I have built an inconveniently sized barrel setup. Oh? Yes, you... it's apparently five barrels across. All right. Well, you're going to be doing it with storage buses anyways, right? Yeah, but I was hoping if I had seven across, then that would be like one subnet per line. Do you have room to make it bigger? Because uh, all you need is a dolly. You won't even have to unload the full thing. Actually, yeah, I can. Uh, on, at <laughs> least on this side over here. I won't be able to on the back side as easily. Yeah. But, yeah, you could just get yourself a... There's actually even a dolly already crafted in the uh, main network. I cheap, actually but... have a dolly in my possession right now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you could just move them around to get yourself the eight by the, the eight block wide... Uh, setup but yeah that that's actually makes a lot of sense well seven because then you've also got the interface you're going to need for channel number eight right 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 because you're going to build a uh uh soren drive right the the ssd the super soren drive mm -hmm. over there eventually that's going to be a more involved project that's mm -hmm. going to require a ton of storage buses Oops, yeah yes. all right So next up will be our, uh, we'll probably want to get our uh, steel steel production up and running. And using the, uh, the full power of the high oven. So while this is getting set up, I'm going to find out what exactly we need to make steel with a high oven. Uh, we so. will need sand, gunpowder, and redstone, and it will produce these things in quantity. It, okay. it will still do six blocks of steel per operand. Excellent. So I'll just have to add a recipe to turn blocks of steel into ingots of steel as well, and that'll work really nicely, I think. Um, what are we going to need that much steel for? Um, fun. <laughs> Construction? Don't you want to build a steel tower? I don't know. I just, uh, sometimes it's just for the sake of doing. <laughs> Valid it exists, point. therefore. And it's also, you know, I order one steel ingot, it goes and does one steel block process, and then the next time I order it, there will be a metric ton of steel already in the, in the system, so. Valid. Yeah, lots of material, lots of material in one crafting cycle means, uh, fewer crafting cycles in the long run. Not necessarily the most optimal way to do it, but fun, and fun is good. All right, well, I might as well do that back at the uh, old base, I think, because that's, that's where I'll need to get it all set up. But I do need to find the book, because I would like to look at the numbers to make sure I get the quantities right, unless you've got that memorized. Uh, Still working. Let's see. I know that you are going to need one sand... Uh, per block, okay. and uh, you're going to need less than one sand, uh, or less than one redstone, and less than one uh, gunpowder per block. And it'll do one, two, three, four, five, six at a time, correct? Correct. Okay. Well, I've got the, uh, I found the book, so I'll go back to the main base and get the uh, recipe all 
sort it out, and then we'll get an interface at that end for it. So, steel. We've got the high oven. So, yeah. Oxidizers. Okay. So, gunpowder, redstone, and sand, and iron ingot makes a uh, steel ingot. It sounded like there was a... Uh... Is there a larger um, version of it, or is it just... Uh... What do you mean? Um, well, I'm seeing it does it at the... I've got an ingot level recipe here. It um, uses the exact same reagents to make a block as it does to make an ingot. Okay, so one... Hold on, so one... Gunpowder, one redstone, one sand, and nine ingots to make one block? Well, more specifically, what you need is specifically iron blocks, not iron ingots to go uh, in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I can do this. All right, all right, all right. However, this is going to require a lot more involved than you may suspect, because what mm -hmm. we're going to need is make sure that the appropriate reagents go in the appropriate slots, which means we're mm -hmm. going to need three more ducts on on the high oven to be able to get everything set up appropriately. That's going to be interesting. Oh. oh, do we not have all the uh, openings on the high oven yet? No, 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 no. Those, uh, those, those openings were not necessary to produce anything else uh, to do okay. the four tripling that we have been doing. So those ducts have not been, been done yet. They will need to be done if we want to go ahead and do this because you're if you're wanting to automate it anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and we most definitely do. I mean, why else would we have the high oven really? Or tripling of shiny ores. That too. Yes, and that's actually that's the other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make sure to get the uh, shiny ore will be set up there too. But yeah, since now that we've got the quantum link chamber up there set up and charging, that's that's the next goal is to get the uh, to put it to good use, right? I don't see why not. Mhm. Mm that's what it's there for. All right, so I've got uh, iron blocks. Now, do we have I don't have enough steel even in the system to make a steel block, but I do have a recipe in here for making steel ingots, which I better grab because that's no longer an accurate one. That's not the way I want to be making it anymore. All right. Okay. So we're going to go with, I see, so six sand. It is thundering out there. I hear that. Oh, wow. We got 1,800 gunpowder in here. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> six sand. Six gunpowder. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six iron blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And unfortunately, I can't teach it what that's actually going to make yet because I don't have those things. I don't have the steel block, a steel block yet. That's a little annoying. Actually, yeah, we do. There's a do block we? of there's a block of steel over on this base in one of the chests. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. Okay. Let me put it in the ME network. Um, well, it's not going to work yet in, if unless the uh, quantum link's up and running. There seems to be something going on here because this is not connecting appropriately. I don't know why not. All right, well, let me check the one over here and make sure it's working right. I mean, it's it's powered up. Is there something we've missed with regards to how this works? Oh, hold um, on. We'll, um, hold on. The, um, actually, yes, I know exactly what's going on. Um, it, doesn't, it is does receiving it... power. It is not receiving channels. 
Okay. Um, is it need? Does it not connect straight to the quantum link chamber? No, it has to go to one of the rings, not the chamber. Okay. All right. I've connected mine to the ring at this end. Um, and I'll be back there in just a second to connect the other one up, and then we'll be good to go. 